Jesus said that before he returns, the entire world will know about him. And now they nearly have. The Bible also says that in the last days, people would make fun of those who believe in him. And well, we see that every day. The clock is ticking because the world knows about Jesus and have for the most part rejected him. But when the Antichrist arrives, as the Bible foretells, the world will accept him. Things are heating up, and I'm sure many of you can feel that. Many of you can feel that we are living in times where um, <laughs> it's almost like a domino effect. You know, many of the things that we've seen the Bible say would happen, have happened, are happening. And uh, there are many things that really just point to us being the generation that will see the return Christ. And, you know, the world says things like, well, you know, Jesus, you know, they've been saying Jesus would come back for thousands of years. He still hadn't come back yet. It's been almost 2000 years, almost 2000 years. He still hadn't come back yet. Why? Well, there's a reason why. There's a reason why it's been almost 2000 years. And we're going to explore that in the next season of videos. Um, but we do have a video. It's called the Hosea Prophecy video that really points to why has it been almost 2,000 years since he's returned? And why is it that we are likely in the final, I'm not going to say the last days, in the last minutes until his great coming? Check that video out. Um, but this is a very crucial time we're in because things are heating up and the Spirit of God is saying to his people to stay lit, stay on fire, keep your lamps full, do not be exposed and found without the, the anointing of my Holy Spirit. The scripture clearly shows that when Jesus returns, you want to be like those who were ready to meet him on fire for him, filled with that oil living for him. You don't want to be like those who were out in the streets squandering everything God had given to them. And then when he showed up, they were unprepared. What did he say to them? It wasn't a good message. Stay lit, stay on fire for God. And how do you do that? How do you stay on fire for God? You got to stay in prayer. Do not let that prayer life slide. As hard as it may be, Spend time in the word and watch content that actually builds your spiritual growth. Watch content, consume content. Remember, whatever you are, con are constantly hearing, whatever you constantly see, you will become. If the only thing you're watching is gossiping content, if the only thing you're watching is uh, TMZ or even Christian TMZ, you know what that is, don't you? Content that the only thing that they put out is what the world is doing. What's the latest thing Kanye said? What is the latest thing Creflo said? What is the latest thing some other person said? This is basic gossip. If if you are watching content that is all gossip, you will become a gossiper. If you're watching content that is pornographic, you will become a sexual perverted person. If you are watching content that all it is is crime field. You're going to have that type of mentality, that type of vibe. If you are watching kingdom content, content that actually digs into the Bible and gives you biblical steps on how to live a holy and righteous life before God, then what will you become? 
a person who lives holy and righteous before God because you're feeding your mind, your subconscious mind, content of the kingdom and not the world. And I've said this before, just because something is labeled Christian content doesn't mean it's actually going to build you up in Christian character. Because Christian content that is 95% gossip and 5% gospel isn't going to cut it. Not in these last days, maybe a few years ago. Maybe you can watch this stuff a few years ago. Now it's time to watch things that are going to prepare you for the return of Jesus. It's time to watch things that convict you, that don't, that, that, that don't make you point fingers at others, that make you point fingers at yourself and make you say, you know what, there are things I gotta get right in my life. My prayer life has been slacking. I haven't been into the word the way it I need to be. It's been a long time since I have fasted. It's been a long time since I have shown love to someone who doesn't think the same way that I do. It's been a long time since I have found joy in just digging into the word. I like what John Piper says. God is most glorified in us when we are most satisfied in him. What does that mean? That means if you were on a deserted island and all you had to take was a Bible, you'd be okay because you have the word and you got God. You'd be okay. Are we at that point where we are perfectly satisfied in God? Are we there? Or do we still need the world to complete us? People to complete us? How am be transparent? God has been getting me to a place where I can just be completely satisfied in him. Where as long as I got God, I'm okay. When you get to that point, that prepares you to when you see Christ, when he returns, you won't have regrets. You haven't been chasing the world. You won't have fear. You don't have to worry about him scolding you because you have made him your life. And when your life appears, you will be more complete than a person going down the aisle on their wedding day, seeing their significant other, because they know they're going to spend forever with that person. But you're actually going to spend forever with Christ. Make him your life. Get more into him than the world. Because now is the time things are speeding up. And I've been saying that people have been saying that, but now it's time to show it. And so... We are working on a series of videos, that you, as you have just seen, um, the unmasking of the Antichrist documentary. I've been talking about that for a long time. And I see why um, things have happened to kind of delay it a bit. Because um, just recently in the news, um, some things have become apparent uh, uh, to me and to our team and those who we do research with. And what has now happened in the news with certain technological companies needs to be included in this documentary because I believe it's going to possibly be a huge piece to this whole thing. And so that uh, unmasking reveal documentary, if it's not out next week or the week after, it's coming this month. Okay, it's coming this month. And um, it's going to really include a lot of what's happened even the past few days. And so therefore, uh, it needed to be delayed because that had that had to be in there. And so, and after that, of course, we're going to have a whole season of videos that are focused on how close are we? Does the Bible show or give parallels, typologies, foreshadowings of the season, the generation that will be present when Christ returns? Yes, we all know about Matthew. We all know about wars and rumors of wars. Yes, we've always had those. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about something else. Um, so I can't wait to get to those videos. But yes, things are heating up. Uh, the Holy Spirit is leading us all, trying to lead us all to seek him more than the world, to be more into the gospel and not gossip, worrying about what the celebrity world is doing, worrying about what other preachers are doing, worry about what you are doing. Jesus said, said it himself, get the plank out of your own eye before you try to pick it out someone else's. If you're going to watch something, watch something that convicts you on things you, you can do to get closer to God. I've had to do that myself. I've fallen um, to the point of uh, sometimes being consumed with content that's Christian or claims to be. And I leave saying, basically feeling self-righteous 
feeling like, wow, okay, I got everything together. And then when you pray, and then that affects your prayer life. Because when you pray, instead of you praying about the things that you need to fix in your own life, you're praying prayers like, well, God, I thank you that you didn't make me like that minister. <laughs> you know, I, I'm thankful you didn't make me like that Christian. Look at all the stuff they do. I'm, I'm so glad I'm not like them. And what did Jesus say about that? He gave a, 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 an illustration on the type of prayer that God honors, right? One person went to God, a, I believe it was a Pharisee, and his prayer was, God, thank you for not making me like that tax collector over there. You know, I tithe, God. I give all I got. You know, I, I, I fast, I pray. Thank you, God, for making me basically so good. And God didn't honor that person's prayer. You know the prayer that God did honor? The tax collector's prayer. The man who could barely even look up to heaven, but he beat his chest and said, God, have mercy on me. I'm a sinner. I don't have any words for you. I can't tell you how good I've been. All I can say, God, have grace and mercy on me. That was the prayer God honored because it was real. It was raw. And the true, raw, honest truth is that we got problems. All of us got things that need to be in improved and fixed upon. And God wants real. He wants raw. He wants authentic. And we're not going to get to that point if all we are doing is feeding ourselves self-righteousness instead of self-correction. God is calling us to prepare ourselves. And a big part of that is humbling ourselves and saying, Lord, I got issues. I need your grace. I need your mercy. So when you pray, be real with God. Let him know your struggles, your doubts, your <laughs> temptations. He already knows it, but he wants you to bring it to him. And humility. God honors that prayer. And he's saying to all of us, and I know many of you are feeling this conviction, to prepare. Because his return is at hand. And we want to hear well done. Stay tuned. I cannot wait to release what we've been working on with this next documentary. After that is complete, we're going to have these things coming out more frequently. You know, there's been a lot going on um, behind the scenes, but God is preparing us to come out fully charged. Once I don't really want to release anything until that Antichrist documentary is released because we've been talking about that for a long time. So the channel may get a little bit quiet for the next uh, few weeks or so until that is out. But after that, we're going to have things out more regularly. Why? Because we have to. We don't have a choice. You know, may not even be the prettiest video, but we're going to put it out. So God bless you. Stay prayed up and prepared.